Okay, so welcome to my one of my releaser stations here. This is the main releaser station pump station at the Sugar House. As you can see, we're inside a nice room here, all insulated. This is our break room. Not many sugar houses have this, but uh, you know, area to take a nap if you need to. Ladder goes upstairs to the phone booth. <laughs> Cell phones don't work real good here, but if you go upstairs, you can get some service. So, maps on the wall, smart tracks. Yeah, I know. Oh, you should. It should be on the TV screen. Yeah, it should be on the TV screen, but. This is like a backup because I, I had to draw it out to figure out where they were going to all go first. So it's just in here. So, you know, you can show somebody where things are real quick and easy. You know, the maps on the TV screen are great because I know where it is, but I don't know. Sometimes you just want to show people, um, you know, physically, hey, there's a variation to there's a road here. There's not a road there. This is where that stone wall is or, or whatever. I don't know. I just like it on paper. So this is a new releaser we just put in this summer, and this is all made by us, PVF Maple LLC, um, dealers of H2O Innovations products. This is a, a BHR tube sold through H2O Innovations, and we got it just as a blank tube. So we put the pumps in there ourselves. We have two pumps in there, capable of pumping, I think we've, I think we said like 50 or 60 gallons a minute um, without the vacuum. It hasn't been tested under vacuum yet. We know that they work under vacuum. We've, we've used these type of pumps before, but I'm not sure how many gallons a minute it's going to pump under 28 inches of vacuum. Um, that'll be a test for the season. It should be plenty for what we need. Uh, there's only about 8,500 that come into this releaser. So nothing too maybe even a little less than that actually nothing too crazy now if you can see in there there's a wash ball there's a stainless steel wash ball so there's a there's there's a ball inside that inside that stainless steel housing and there's a bunch of little holes and slits cut in it and then it's powered here over here that valve which is hooked to this block of pipes and valves and things is uh, there's a pump in our permeate tank that you can turn on and all those different valves segregate where it's going to go to either a sap tank, the releaser, this pipe, this pipe here goes out to just like it says truck tank wash. We have a wash system outside where the sap comes in. See out there on the ends where you park your truck to dump sap into the tanks and you can also wash because we have wash balls in all of our truck tanks. So, you know, I decided to do two inch, bringing the sap and the, and the vacuum and, um, you know, I probably didn't need to do that, but it was just kind of easy and I, I, I had this two inch pipe, this flexible pipe, this is milk pipe actually, not Tiger Flex, this is a milk pipe. It's a little bit stiffer, a little bit a little bit nicer. Um, I think it stays a little bit cleaner. Check valves here, stainless check valves. Everything's stainless. Um, you know, so we got a flat face couplers there that we can remove to wash that pipe because believe it or not, those pipes will grow stuff in there. This valve here is for vacuum release to wash the system. We have two more wet and dry coming in from a 900 taps that is oh 1500 feet away or so that goes over the road quite a ways now and we got all the wires that run the pumps and that gauge old school back gauge let's take a walk out here outside down the ramp hopefully you can see here the sun doesn't bother too bad now we needed something to hold these pipes up from where they come into the building here, to the insulated area, and those, all that glue you see is from the old pipes that came through. We need something to hold the pipes up out here. And there used to be a big three and a half inch piece of aluminum box steel. But I had to spread the load because we have four two inch pipes coming out here. So 
I thought about it and we we're gonna use wood and thought about this and that, but I wanted something light. And there you see the the aluminum the aluminum box there that what things were hitched to. I wanted something light, something that was rigid, and that would stay straight. So I thought about it, I thought about it, I said, hey, a ladder. A ladder would work really well. So we put a ladder on there, made some mounts to hold the ladder up, and the other chunk of ladder that was left over we put as a brace and also a snow deflector. So when the snow comes off those roofs up there, it will smash on that and break it up a little bit without hopefully breaking the pipes. Um, that, that is a PVC pipe. I'm not a fan of PVC pipe at all. But I wasn't able to locate any 2-inch stainless steel at a, at a price I was willing to pay. And then, uh, you know, I'd had to weld up all these ends, which is no big deal. But I just didn't... <sighs> really think it was cost effective for what I was doing you see all the different incoming incoming lines here in this little building and this little building this little building used to house an old dumper releaser in here that then dumped into a tank and you know how it is in the sugar maker as you grow and expand things change and you know you get bigger all the time um, so some, some of it's added on to and some of it's nice and new but as you can see Try to use as much stainless as possible. I got a few a few valves in here that are not stainless, mostly because they're kind of special. That that valve right there is an insert to insert, so both ends slide right into the pipe. It, it works really well. Um, large two-inch pipe coming down the hill from 4,000 taps, uh, about 4,000 feet away. That's buried. We'll do that. We'll do that on another video some other day. Um, and you can see out here. A couple thousand more that come down into this entire system. And it's roughly, I don't know, I forget, 24 feet, 22 feet back into that building from here. So I know a friend of mine was concerned that I was going to get some freeze ups and the PVC is going to break it all apart and everything. But I, I don't really think that's it. This is the SDR. You know, a lot of people are putting this out in their woods or burying it. I think it'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, there's that set up. I'll let you know how it works later on in the season.